So there it is, winner on a seventh round TKO at 232, Kenny Lacusta, who's recognized. In sport of boxing, you'd fully expect to hear the terms battle, intimidation, confrontation. But those terms in the everyday life of a boxer, that is the kind of life that David Defiabon lived when he was in Nigeria. In the midst of human struggle in Nigeria, a boxer escaped. Somebody can just kill you and then nothing will happen, nobody will ever know. Knives, guns, you know, and the burning churches. So I, I ran away. I was very lucky I, that uh, I, I, you know, I, that I ran. I, I left with bruises, with my head marked all over my body. Could have been throwing stones. The scars are real, and so is the pain. For years, this 24-year-old would meet Canadian boxing coach Taylor Gordon at international meets, and each time implore him to bring him to Canada. Then one day in front of about 200 people, he, uh, he really got on to me and he got down on his knees and grabbed me around the legs and begged me to bring him tears running down his face. And, and uh, it convinced me that uh, nobody could do that uh, as a show, that he really wanted to get out and that he, he needed to start a new life and to get out of Nigeria. So that convinced me then that I should do something to, to help this kid. Taylor Gordon did do something. He brought Defiabon to Canada. Halifax became his home, his training center, and salvation. Oh, I was so happy. I was, oh, my mind went, my mind was so relieved. That thank God that, uh, you know, that I finally stay away from those trouble I was going through. So many things. I was very, very happy. What a story behind David Defiabon, 25 years old. Canada truly is the land of opportunity for him. He's been here for three years, came from Nigeria, but uh, immigration to the country wasn't easy. Season's greetings. Bloomfield Center, may I help you? David Defiabon, please. Just a moment, please. Hello. Hello, David? Yes, ma'am. What I want to tell you is that Cabinet has approved your application <gasps> for citizenship. <sighs> How do you feel now that you know you're going oh, to fight for Canada? Oh, my God, I, I feel very, very happy. David DeFiabon, citizenship, Canadian. His dream, gold in Atlanta. This year, so yeah, this Olympic Games, you know, it's going to be a kind of surprise. You know, you're going to go there and bring the gold. And so David DeFiabon enters the ring with one less worry on his shoulders. Canadian citizenship settled. He can now concentrate on boxing and boxing alone. And there's his opponent, Mark Simmons, who is no slouch. Let's make that clear. In fact, he gave DeFiabon his toughest fight at the Nationals in Brampton in December. Still rust, DeFiabon remains the favorite here. He is the favorite, and you're right. Mark Simmons is no slouch, but right now he falls as the second best heavyweight in this country. Well, I mentioned their fight at the Nationals a few months ago. Defiabon won a decision on points, but uh, Simmons was tough. He was tough. It was his toughest fight, as you said. I think Simmons is going to have to make alterations, though, for the rematch now. He's going to have to get a little lower. He can't stand up and try to match height with the taller and longer reach Defiabon. No, I, I don't feel any pressure, actually. I, I, think, uh, I think I'm considered the underdog, so I, I like that position. I'll just... I'll just uh, be able to keep on top of them and uh, do my thing. That's, I feel no pressure at all. What I have to do is just go in there, use my, 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 my reach, my lung, my jab, and then try to keep him off, you know, and any time he come too close, then I explode with the right hand. That's all I have to do. Russ, these are two good-looking, nicely proportioned heavyweights. The two best in this country, Scott, but you can see the three-inch height advantage for Defiabon and the five-inch reach advantage. Simmons has to get inside. That's where his battle plan lays. Well, David defiabon has been walking on cloud nine since being awarded his Canadian citizenship in mid-January. Now, if he can beat Mark Simmons, he'll be that much closer to representing Canada at the Olympics, where he's got a legitimate shot at a medal. Set for the start of this heavyweight matchup, 91 kilograms, David Defiabon of Halifax wearing the red, Mark Simmons, the challenger from Toronto in the blue out of the Atlas Boxing Club there, second year kinesiology student at York University. Russ Mark Simmons knows well the power of Defiabon's right, Defiabon put him down with it in the second round of the semi-final bout that they had at the Brampton Nationals. Uh, Simmons was up quickly, though, learned his lesson, says he can't allow Defiabon to use his 
long arms to keep him outside, must stay on him on the inside. I think all things given equal, the thing that's going to make a difference in this fight is defense. Mark is not generally known as a slick fighter with a tight defense, and that could be the difference in the fight. Power, I would say they're about equal. Tenacity, definitely about equal. Uh, Simmons is a like to come, he likes to come forward and take it right to you. He's a great, great prospect. I've liked him all along. He's in tough with the Fiabon. It's worth mentioning as well that in round three of that fight in Brampton, their semifinal bout, Simmons gave the Fiabon an eight count with uh, a flurry to the body and a left to the head. So Simmons is not without power. No, not definitely not. Definitely not. And that, but like I said, the Fiabon is complete. He uses the reach. He uses. Oh, there's a left hook glance from Simmons. He's gone up 2-1 early in this fight. Yeah, and he, sh he shook the Fiabon a little bit. They're that both going hook. powerful shots early in this bout, Russ. They certainly are. And that left hook landed on the Fiabon. It shook him a little bit. He saw the black lights there. But there's a right hand lands from the Fiabon. There's no question that Tafiabon is a world-class heavyweight. Five years in the Nigerian A-team. Represented Nigeria ten times internationally. Won gold in Auckland at the 90 Commonwealth Games as a welterweight. So he's gained a whole lot of weight since then. But if he's world-class, what's that say about Mark Simmons to this point in the fight? Mark Simmons is definitely a world-class fighter, Scott. Don't underestimate him. He's definitely world-class. He hasn't had the exposure that some of these higher-profile athletes have had. But Mark Simmons is a heck of a prospect. And if we were sitting here with anybody but David Defeabon, we'd be touting Mark Simmons right now as a great heavyweight fighter. Maybe not great. Maybe I overuse that. Strong heavyweight fighter. Oh, absolutely. And he is that. Good skills. He's not a lumbering type heavyweight. He's got good skills. He uses his movement nice. Good power. He's nice to watch. He's, not, he's nice to watch box. He's not just a big guy lunging punches. He throws good proper boxing punches, jabs, right hands, left hooks. Left from the Fiabon. Scoring blow. They're tied at three now in the final 20 seconds around number one. Fiabon came back with the right. The Fiabon has a tendency of letting that left right hand stay out there after he throws it. He's got to be careful with that because he leaves himself open for the left hook. You started off great, and then you started backing up, and that's when you started scoring again. Okay? Okay. That's the score. 4-3. 4-3. He started really high and really fast, but he picked the pace up. He's still boxing. <laughs> it's Taylor and Wayne Gordon in David DeFiabon's corner. He's out of the Citadel Amateur Club in downtown Halifax where the Gordons coach him. There's the right hand. He finished it up with the left hook there and got away. He set everything up with the jab, though. That's the key. He's going to have to spear Mark Simmons and keep him at bay. This is when Simmons was pressing forward. There's the right hand. Finished it up with the left hook. And that's where he shook DeFiabon a little bit. But look at the experience. Just moved away, stayed nice and calm. Vinny Ryan in... Uh, Mark Simmons' corner admonishing him for starting to back up late in round number one, and that's when the Fiabon started scoring. And so now, round two in this heavyweight matchup just underway. Again, it's the Fiabon of Halifax. Just granted his Canadian citizenship, so he can uh, box for Canada in the Olympics, providing he gets that far. In the red, Mark Simmons in the blue. Russ, back to a point that you made late in round number one. It is nice to see two classy-looking heavyweights in this country where uh, most of our heavyweight boxers started later in, in life. Uh, not